In this lesson, we are going to look at a few examples of geometric series and determine whether they diverge or converge. So for the first one, we have the summation of 3 over 2 to the n going from 0 to infinity. So let's write, let's write out a few of the terms just to get a better understanding of what we have here. So when n is 0, okay, we're going to get 3 over 2 to the 0. Okay, so that's going to be, that's going to leave us with 3 times 1. Okay, because 2 to the 0 is just 1. When n is 1, we're going to get 3 times 1 half. Okay, when n is 2, we're going to get 3 times 1 fourth, and so on. Okay, so this is the same thing as writing. Okay, we can write this. We can write this as uh, three, or the summation Oops. let's say the summation from zero to infinity of three times one half to the power n. So the, the reason why we wrote this way is we can we can easily identify what a and what r is. Okay, so a here is the constant term, right? R is the one, is is the ratio. So each time, okay, so each time we're multiplying by one half, okay, going from here and then from here, okay, and so on. So r is so r is one half in this case. So a is 3, and r is equal to 1 half. And just remember that this 1 here, uh, this is, so this 1 is coming from the fact that 1 half to the 0 power is 1, okay? So now, so we can apply the theorem, okay? So this geometric series will converge to a over 1 minus r, okay? If, uh, if this condition is true, okay, where the ratio is between, or the absolute value of the ratio is between zero and one, uh, which in case this is, this is, this is strictly less than one. So therefore, this series is going to converge, and it's going to converge to three over one minus one half. So that's the same as 3 divided by 1 half, which is going to give us 6. So it's converging, okay? Converges. Okay, let's look at the next one. So the next one, we have the summation of 3 halves all raised to the n power going from 0 to infinity. So that's different from the first one. The first one, we had 3 divided by 2 to the n. Okay, so this is this series has a slightly different behavior. Okay, so let's expand this one out for the first few terms. So when n is zero, okay, okay, we get this, which is going to be one. The next one we're going to have three halves raised to the first power. The next one will be three halves to the second power, and so on. So this is going to give us one plus three halves, plus nine fourths, okay? So A here is one, it's, okay, that's the constant term. And then R here, okay, each term is getting multiplied by one half. Okay, so, all right. Well, actually, A, so actually R, R is three halves in this case. Sorry, not three. Not three, uh, not three halves. So this is going to give us, okay, so here R is three halves. With A equals one. So this is bigger than one. Okay, so therefore this series is going to diverge. Okay. Okay, so these are getting these values are getting bigger and bigger, so this is going to diverge. OK, 
Okay, so diverges. Okay, the next one, uh, we have the summation of two times negative one half to the n going from one to infinity. So here, this is the one where you have to be careful here uh, because we're starting from one, not zero. So we need to shift, right? Because in our theorem, okay, our theorem says that we're starting from zero. So we need to shift everything to zero and then apply the theorem. So this series, okay, we can be written as the summation from zero to infinity. So we're subtracting one to get to zero. So that means I need to add one to, to the sequence part, to the nth term, okay? So that's gonna be minus one half. all raised to n plus one, okay? Again, we shifting, we subtract one from here, so we need to add one, okay? We need to add one to here, okay? So now let's, uh, let's rewrite this. This is gonna be the summation. So we have two times negative one half to the n times minus one half to the first power. So we can, uh, there's an algebraic rule where we can split this up, okay? So that's, we can split this up because they have the same base. So we can split this up in this way, okay? All right, so then from there, we have the summation from zero to infinity. Um, so we have minus, uh, so we have two times minus one half, okay? So that's gonna be minus one times negative one half to the nth power. So a, a in this case is negative one. Okay. And r, r is gonna be minus one half. So therefore, okay, this, right, this series is converging. Uh, because the, the absolute value of r, which in this case is one half, is less than one. Okay. So therefore, the series is going to approach. Okay. So it's going to be minus one. That's a divided by one minus negative one half, because r is negative one half. So that means this is minus one over one plus one half. So therefore, this is gonna be um, minus two thirds. Okay, so this series converges. Okay, so that's an example where we have to shift. Okay, we have to shift it to zero in order to apply this theorem up here. Okay, all right. Okay, so once we shift, then we can determine A and R and then apply it to the theorem, okay?